Those three superstars laid it all on the line, as we can see right here in these clips. Here is your winner, and still WWE Women's Champion, Bayley. The WWE Universe showing appreciation as all three competitors after an amazing triple threat match. Yeah, it may sound cliche, but you have to keep your head on a swivel in a match like this. And our winner did just that. The following contest is scheduled for one fall and is for the World Heavyweight Championship. Main event, Jey Uso. Jay Uso has grown accustomed to owning a mountain of tag team gold. But he's proven he can fly solo as well, Byron. You can say that again, Kurt. We are looking at main event Jay Uso, as ruthless as they come. The right hand man. Here comes a reckoning. The Archer of Infamy, ready to pass judgment. Priest has truly embraced his deepest, darkest side, and I couldn't be happier. We've seen Priest and the rest of Judgment Day destroy families, put competitors in the hospital. What, just to get ahead? For Priest, the ends justify the means.
multiple title reigns in his career already, but Priest wants even more. And there's nobody who can stand in his way. Introducing the challenger from San Francisco, California, weighing in at 242 pounds, main event, Jay Uso! And his opponent from New York, New York, weighing in at 249 pounds, he is the world heavyweight Champion Damian Priest. A fully confident challenger in their corner, absolutely hell bent on capturing the title. Championship action underway. The champ looks as hungry and prepared here as ever. Yeah, they have absolutely no desire to even entertain the possibility of walking out of here tonight without their title. Stop after stop after stop. You have to imagine the disdain it takes to repeatedly stop someone like that. Yeah. Elbow drop right on point. Looking wobbly in the corner. And a well-executed move we just saw there. Priest is taking the competition apart. Yeah, and this is the danger of a fully focused Damian Priest. Not to state the obvious, but if you want to win against Jey Uso, you need to keep him grounded and not allow him to hit any aerial attacks. So here's some free advice for his opponent. Wear Jey down. Pile on the attack so it becomes too hard for him to climb those ropes. That's good advice, Corey. We both know that if Jey can get to that top rope, he'll be that much closer to earning the win. Elbow drop right on point. In the hard way. And now Jay is getting beaten down. Smart strategy, trying to wear Jay down and keeping him from climbing the ropes. Oh, I saw it coming. Jay managing to find some of that needed breathing room. Jay showing it's not a time for lying down, it's time for fighting back. Just caught flush. Oh, he fights Jay back. 